Okay, in lesson 11, continue to find an area over at this time. Our objective was to find area of rectangles with mix by mixed and fraction by fraction side lengths by tiling, recorded by drawing and relate to fraction multiplication. Basically, we're using all these. Number one is probably done in your book for you, but I'm going to go through and explain the process they did. Okay. So, let me get my pen here. The first one says it's two and three quarter long. So I'm going to give it some spatial sense and make sure that I make a difference. This is my two, and I'm splitting up the three quarters here. Now, vertically for my width dimension, this is going to be one, and this is my half. So I can see this part here is one times two, so that's going to be two. And this one's one times three fourths, so it's going to be three fourths. So I know this this row right here is two and three fourths already. Now the next one here is one half times two, which is equal to one half times two over one, which equals two over two, so it's one whole. And our last one is one half times three fourths which in class we've been having a hard time people thinking that they have to have a common denominator but we're multiplying fractions so you just multiply across one times three is three four times two is eight so now we have one and three eighths now we're going to add these two now is when we have to have a common denominator and the first thing i like to say is can i turn one fraction to the other this denominator is four this one's eight I know I can multiply this fraction by 1, but I'm going to multiply it by 2 over 2 to get me 6 eighths. Now I can add them up. 2 plus 1 is 3. 6 eighths plus 3 eighths is 9 eighths. Now, I know 9 eighths is actually equal to 3 plus 1 plus 1 eighth. So our answer is going to be 4 and 1 eighth units squared. Okay, so our next one is two and a half units. So I'm going to go ahead and split my rectangle. And this is two and one half. And the other one is three quarters. So I'm just going to keep it as three quarter. Because I know this one is two times three fourths, which is going to be equal to six fourths. Because that's actually two over one. And this next one is 3 fourths times 1 half, which is going to give me 3 eighths. So now I actually have 6 fourths, and I've got to add 3 eighths to it. And I want to turn these into common denominators so I can see I can make 6 fourths into eighths by multiplying by 2 over 2, which gives me 12 eighths. So now I have 12 eighths plus 3 eighths is going to give me 15 eighths. 8 will go into 15 one time with 7 left over, so it's going to be 1 and 7 eighths. So our era, area is 1 and 7 eighths square on units. C. Once again, we're going to split our rectangle. And this one was 3 and 1 third units by 2 and 1 half units. So this one becomes 2 times 3 for 6. This one's 2 times 1 third which is actually 2 over 1, so it becomes 2 thirds. And this one is 1 half times 3, which becomes 3 over 1, which gives us 3 halves, which is also equal to 1 and 1 half. Now we have 1 half times 1 third, which gives me 1 6. So now when we add up what we have, I have 6 and 2 thirds, and I have a one sixth and a one and one half. So first off, I know I can add my whole numbers to get rid of them. Now I have two thirds. I want to convert them to six so that I can add the first two. So I'm going to actually multiply by two over two to give me four six. So now I know that I have four six plus one six, and that's going to equal five six. Now I want to convert my half to 6, so I'm going to multiply by 3 over 3, which gives me 3 6. And I know 5 6 plus 3 6 is going to give me 8 6, which is equal to 7 and 
plus 1 and 2 6. So that's going to give us 8 and 2 6. So our square units are 8 and 2 6 square units. On D, we're going to split this one up by 3 and 1 half by 2 and a quarter. This one becomes 2 times 3, which is 6. This is 2 times 1 half, which is 2 over 1 times 1 half. It gives us 2 halves, which equals 1 whole. Now we have 1 fourth times 3, which is actually 3 over 1, which equals 3 fourths. And our last one is 1 fourth times 1 half, which equals 1 eighth. And we add them up. we got 7 here. I have 3 fourths plus 1 eighth. And I know I can convert 3 fourths by multiplying by 2 over 2, which gives me 6 eighths plus 1 eighth equals 7 eighths. So our square, our area on this one would be 7 and 7 eighths. Okay, a square is a perimeter of 25 inches. What is the area of the square? So we know that a square has four equal sides. So that's a key thing here, it has, e has four equal sides. And we know the perimeter, which is the sum of all sides. So I know that if I have 25 per for the perimeter and four equal sides, I'm going to divide it by that. So we're going to go six, that's going to be 24 and one quarter. So each side is going to be six and one quarter inches. Six and one quarter inches. So now if I want to find the area, I have to multiply that length times the width. And see this would be six and one quarter. And over here I'm going to do the same thing. Six and one quarter. I know six times six is 36. 6 times 1 quarter is going to be 6 fourths. Over here I've got 1 fourth times 6. So once again, it's going to be 6 fourths. And the last one is going to be 1 quarter times 1 quarter, which equals 1 sixteenth. Now in order to find for the sum, for the area, I've got to add them all together. So I've got 36 plus... 12 fourths plus 1 sixteenth. Well, I know 12 fourths is actually going to equal to 3, so 36 plus 3 plus 1 sixteenth equals 39 and 1 sixteenth. So the area.